A wave of thunderstorms and a dog exposed to the downpour in the back of this pickup are causing a different kind of storm for a breeder in Noblesville. An upset driver on 465 took this photo and posted it on social media, calling it pure torture. Now, the man who's behind the wheel is defending his actions, and our Sander Chapman caught up with him and shows us why animal control officers say it's pretty difficult to prove abuse. Sandra? Well, and the big question tonight, did the driver take appropriate action to protect the bulldog within a reasonable amount of time? Those weighing in on social media have one opinion, but as we found, city ordinances could vary. The picture really doesn't speak well at all. It looks horrible. Blake Heidelberger is talking about this image of his dog Cassius huddled in a corner of his pickup truck as a line of thunderstorms rolled through Indianapolis Sunday. A motorist on I-465 saw the bulldog chained in the back of the truck with no gate and noted the Bubs Indiana Bulldog's decal and wrote, Lightning and thunder and your poor dog is curled up. No one is in your passenger seat. Great advertising, pure torture. Within hours, the photo of the thunderstorm had brewed into a social media storm. It went from threats to calling me trash. <laughs> Stung by the outpouring of anger, Heidelberger showed us his kennels in Noblesville. Heidelberger says the person who reportedly followed him for miles and took the picture misrepresented him and what happened. He says he did pull under an overpass to get Cassius some cover. He had been playing in the pond most of the day, so I'd had him in the back of the truck. Um, it did. We, we pulled up on a rainstorm. Uh, the rain, rain started coming down pretty heavy. So as soon as, as, soon as the rain got heavy, um, I pulled over and put him in the truck. The online outrage led Hamilton County Animal Control to his front door. Deputy Doug Sanford said he got at least a dozen complaints, including allegations that it had happened before. Someone posted a different picture of one of his dogs in the back of that same truck. I did inspect his kennels, the animals on scene. We're in good health. His vehicle, as far as local ordinance for Hamilton County, is set up appropriately to transport a dog in the back of the truck um, for restraints. Heidelberger says people should be cautious before jumping to conclusions and that he'll continue to transport his dog in the back of his truck. I imagine there would be some, some bad negative effects there. So to the, to the person that did take that picture, you know, it would be nice for them to see how I maintain my animals and how I truly take care of my animals. Heidelberger says the pop-up thunderstorm wasn't long-lived. As for the social media storm, that could continue until the Indianapolis animal control officers determine what, if any, violations occurred there. Back to you. Now, Hamilton County Animal Control records show Heidelberger is a registered hobby breeder and has up-to-date shot records for his dogs. Indianapolis Animal Control is looking to see if any city ordinances were violated here since the photo was taken on I-465. So far, no citation. I like how you pet toss back to, to yourself myself. there. <laughs> I was like, what the person who wrote the post, what are they saying now? Well, we tried to reach out to her. We could not reach her today, so we'll just have to wait and see. But right now, it doesn't look like any citations yet. Well, it might be one of those cases where it may be legal, but is it right? Right, and it doesn't look good. Yeah, that's a judgment. All right, Sandra.